today. From Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. This is Matt Football on EA Sports. Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. The excitement brewing here in South Florida is a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the New England Patriots. Taking it about the one. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungabailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. And for all the collegiate success he had, highest passer efficiency rating by a mile. He's a guy who's had his share of detractors at the professional level, but I do like his poise, I do like his moxie, and I love his accuracy. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now the former Washington Husky, here's Miles Gaskin. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage, stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play, having leverage lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield, knocking someone down. Just what you said, set the tone early for this game. Geez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Here's Gaskin. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Tua now on first down. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll run now with Gaskin. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On second and seven, Tua. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Dolphins are going to take a first-quarter lead. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Extra point and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. 
Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. They'll be led by the Heisman finalist from a season ago, the rookie from Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. He's going to look downfield for Henry, and it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. To throw once more on second and ten. Jones. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Stevenson now on first and 10. Just passed him at the 45. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Now Jones. Henry's got it out on the left side. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And once again, the Dolphin defense holds firm as they'll stop him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Throwing Jones. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Flushed out right. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And he's got this way down inside of New England's 10-yard line. A big play there for the Dolphins. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Gaskin. Pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Well, they've gotten it to the one. Can they get that final yard here on third and goal? Gaskin again, and he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Miles Gaskin taking it in from a yard out. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. 
So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Sanders now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was capped off by a Miles Gaskin touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Here's Jones on first down. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second and a yard. From the gun, it's Stevenson. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Jones now from the gun on third down. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. This is Gaskin on the carry. Oh, well, he's got some breathing room. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 43 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I don't think that's what the defensive coordinator had in mind there. You got him pinned back inside the five, and then you let him rip off that long run. You're already anticipating the film session, aren't you? There's going to be some anger. Yeah, it's not going to be at the greatest hits, is it? Because they didn't hit anyone on that play. Supposed to have them pinned back deep. Instead, they leave a big crack, a gaping hole, and guess what? They're in a bad position right now. Now a handoff looking right. And he goes out right around the 39. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Here's Tua. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And he'll give it here to his running back. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective 
Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Two and now on first down. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the deep. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Following the fumble recovery, here's Tua. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to pass. Tua. Right back to Waddle, and this time he's got it. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Second and ten. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. On the right side, open is Gasicki. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Mike Gasicki, 27 yards. And the Dolphins are able to widen their lead here in this first half. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Sanders on for the extra point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Damian Harris to the Patriot offense, ready to take over again. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So the Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Emmanuel Ogba that time, able to drop him for a loss. A final shot before break. Jones. Complete. It's Henry. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The team's are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. 
Well, the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. And he's brought down after a very nice game. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Jones throw pulled in by Aguilar. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. Seven yards to pick up there. On second down, it's Stevenson. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. On first down, Jones. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And yeah, he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Back to throw. Jones. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Kendrick Bourne there to make the grab. And the Patriots are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, it got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you're trying to throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. Tua and the rest of the Dolphin offense heading back out. He's showing off that arm, showing it off very well. They've got the lead. Don't forget, though, about the protection he's had. The protection's been good. And I'll guarantee you, he hasn't forgotten about it at all because that's keeping him clean in the pocket, allowing him to step into throws and make those deep passes come true. I mean, it's just been beautiful for him to do. But guess what? In the huddle, on the sidelines, guaranteed he's thanking those big guys up front for keeping him safe. I have a feeling he made by dinner. <laughs> Indeed, entertaining to relive some of those deep balls. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 68 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard. And now hold everything here as the challenge flag is out. And we're going to get a review of that last play. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After the play, the run on the field is reversed. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one as that now will wind up an incomplete pass. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on that. And he wisely will throw that one away. 
had to pass there third and long on your own side of the field just couldn't come up with anything that's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down even throwing the football they'll call that a 33 yard punt with no return and the patriots take over out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Jones on first and ten. This one to Bourne out on the left side. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Looking to throw. Jones. Got the connection here to Bourne. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. On third down, Jones. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. A throw on the quick slant, going to be complete. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Two and a throw again. That's to Waddle on the quick slam. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Another run with Gaskin. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. And to give this time to the tailback. Room to run for Gaskin. And all the way down into the 33-yard line. 97 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Matt Judon there to bring him down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Sanders' kick is good. And that will push this lead up to 20 now. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. New England's offense set to go. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down, make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. They don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Meanwhile, Jones throw there complete to Myers. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now they gotta get to the line quickly. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now right to Bourne. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Back to throw again. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. To throw again on second down, Jones. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but yeah, I... But, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one, you uh, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all. Yeah. Right? And I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... Oh, I thought I was the only child. You That's get a game ball, and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.